Praise the Lord, esteemed chairperson, Pastor Johnson Chaco, the respected dignitaries seated on the dais. Above all, I am very glad indeed to stand in your midst to be here with the well-renowned singer, Dr. Blessin Maimana. I hope he won't be remembering during the time from 97 till 2002, during the talent competition, we used to together compete and participate in various programs. All God has blessed us with this wonderful and dynamic youth as the audience who are here. Greetings to you all in the matchless and precious name of our God, Jesus Christ. It's indeed a great honor and privilege to me to stand before you and testify what God has done in my life and let it be a challenge for you youngsters too. Well, as it is meant for the youth, my basic theme will be some of the steps that day-to-day -day youth have to understand in their day-to-day -day lives. Apart from that, we have, I will be taking about the problems, the challenges that the youths will have to face in their day, daily situations and their solutions. Let us remember as youths one key verse is there in the Bible which is there in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 11. It says, remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. As you all told that our convention theme is John chapter 11 verse 40. It says, if you believe, you shall see the glory of God. Right? Do you believe in God? And do you believe in God's glory that it will happen in your life? Surely, I am a true example for that right from my childhood days even till now. God is concerned about each one of us. No matter the youths or adults, no one is inferior or superior. Now as this is a class and this is a peak time afternoon session, some of you may divert your attention in sleeping, mobile phone, etc. So please, I draw your attention here. After taking morning class in school, I reached here. So I seek because teaching the youngsters. So it's not a great difficulty or deal for me, but I urge the power of the Holy Spirit to be in all of you and be attentive because in between you can expect some questions. So dear youths, can you tell me your specific characteristics? What are they? Or what are the basic things what a youth is having or highly dominated in you? Can any one of you tell? Youth, what are all things that you are facing? Or what is the plus point or the negative daily you see among yourselves, which you don't see in older people or little children, but you are someone special? Can you tell what are they? One by one? Yes? Very adventurous, right? Exciting. Then hilarious. Then many times some, of, some or the other people will sit on the other side and remain gloomy or depressed. Frustration. So, we have lots of problems in our life. Do you agree? Yes or no? Is there happiness alone like showers of blessing coming in our life alone? No. We all pray for that, right? But sorrows are also there. More than happiness, sorrows will be added daily in our life. That is why it is rightly said that joys and sorrows are like two sides of the same coin. Now we have to understand that we cannot shoulder any problems by ourselves. We should have firm faith in God as the key verse has been told. So do you know the reference where about faith it is mentioned? In which book? Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Exactly. Very good. So Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. There are many impossible things in our life, but the greatest thing what we have to understand 
is by developing a firm faith in God and then we have to remember that our life is short. Now today if we go and sleep, no matter we don't know the next moment we will be awake or alive. It's in the hands of God. Okay, so why are we boasting about our talents? What is there in us to be more proud of? There is a rightful statement. I remember one of my teachers told me in my childhood days, Sarah, as you are, you have to be simple as you are. For simplicity has a charm. What do you mean by charm? Simplicity has a charm. Now you youngsters and all, so many number of times, even in the afternoon, you stood in front of one object and came right here. What was it? Mirror. Very good. What for that purpose? To look whether you are more handsome or beautiful. So be as simple as you are. For simplicity has a charm. Charm is beauty. No friend can ever envy and no foe can ever harm. So remember, the more you are simple, no matter whatever high level of position you have in your lifetime, the more you are simple, you will get lot of friend circles within you. If you are proud a little bit, there is a saying, when pride comes, then comes a fall. But God gives grace to the humble and he resists the proud. So, we have lots of physical and mental worries and problems. Some of the problems happen in our life as such that some people grant to us purposely the ones whom we love the most or those who love us the most. We have to delete all the worries and problems which linger in our mind and develop a positive faith within us. Then remember one thing. If you are remembering and recalling up, recollecting about the past events in your life and worrying about it, remember, past is a waste paper. Then, present is a newspaper. Future is a question paper. So read and write it carefully, otherwise our life will be just like a waste, like a tissue paper. So we have to understand what our life is. As I mentioned earlier, our life is short. We have to live for God's plan and purpose in our life. A great thing we have to understand, salt and sugar, both the color may be alike. But what is the difference in both of them? Can we add in every dish salt and sugar equally as we wish? Anyone? Have you proved miracles out of it? No. So, where salt is needed, we have to put that amount of salt to make our food very tasty. And where sugar is needed, we have to put that quantity of sugar to make it tasty. If it's imbalanced, what will happen? The, it will be of no use. We will have to take it and throw it away. So Jesus has said that we are the salt of the earth or we are the light of the world. Do you remember? What is the great significance of that? Light of the world. You sing a song. When the worship and praise, praise and worship session goes on, we sing light of the world. You step down into darkness and all. So we are the light of the world. That is what God has compared. Or we are the uh, partakers of his divine nature or salt of this earth. Means we have to take the corrupt generation from the darkness of ignorance and bring them back to the light of knowledge. Sometimes we feel that living in a hut or a thatch roof, we will be more peaceful than living in a palace. What is the difference in it? Can any one of you say? Living in a palace will be not that comfortable, but living in a hut or a thatch roof, when we see people, they will be more and more Happy, exactly. So what is the thing? Many of us, the main problem now what we face is, we are not happy with what we are. Now most of the youngsters what you face will be, I am too short, my nose is too big, I am too chinny, then I don't have maximum height, then I am obese, 
all sort of things then you compare with your friends let me tell you one thing always as my loving brothers and sisters i insist you that never ever try to back answer with your parents or elders telling that i don't have this i don't have that we cry or we shed tears thinking that our problems are the greatest but we have to come down one step to the earth being simple and we have to understand whatever next to god our parents are more responsible for who you are you are a great challenge in front of me those who are seated here i know that this much children or audience god has placed before me there is a plan and purpose behind you all have a name an ambition a good career in your life and you are still seeking for it there may be a few ones who are depressed too who are seated here in this afternoon let me give you a challenge with firm faith in god and determination god will raise you up in due time just one thing as first peter chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 says humble yourself in sight of god that he may lift you up and if you are lacking in wisdom either may be it any profession or any other institution where you are studying remember there is one more verse challenging that god will grant you wisdom can you tell which verse is that very good james chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 says if any one of you lack wisdom let him ask to god who gives to all liberally without reproach and it will be given to him liberally what do you mean by the word liberal sometimes certain students come and approach us teachers can you please be liberal in evaluating the answer papers like that so what is the meaning of the word liberal can anyone say what is can you hear me everyone okay till the back okay what is the meaning of the word liberal giving freely exactly giving freely now if we ask to our parents or to our relatives later on they will tell that i have given you this i have given you that you please repay me as a debt but the more we ask to god and approach before god what happens is God will never leave us nor forsake us. I am a true example for that. Right from childhood, from studies, from all this thing till here, I am a living example before others just testifying the name of God. God has made me to stand here. So I challenge you dear listeners that you also today you are just viewers but tomorrow what your life is in store for us either you may have ministry in music in speech or any other work or even pastoral ministry you will shine as lights definitely i give you the guarantee then remember we should never give up we have to live life one day at a time there may be problems and problems alone you may even think that if situations are worse why not i end up my life have you ever thought even once that i have to end up my life or why god you have made me here or created me so there is a saying that every cloud has a silver lining and there is a light at the end of every tunnel so never forget that after a darkness there will be a light to motivate you god's everlasting arms will carry you and lead you to the way you want to become but one thing never cheat god never cheat our pastors or elders never cheat your parents after all because they are the ones who wish something good for you most of the time why the youngsters are perishing is because their life is filled with the pressure of the peer groups what do you mean by peer pressure that means friends now life we see that we have to love others share with other people everything so remember love is a free gift when we are infants we receive love freely 
the moment we are youth what happens you seek for love you go after love in different ways and think about old age people they beg for love only among different people taking out of 100 we may see 10 percent age of old age people satisfied with their children you have to remember the children now they are turning a blind eye and a deaf ear towards the cry of their parents the parents other than god have brought you up so much and if you are giving them a pitiful tragedy in their life remember what you seek or strive you will never reach successful so remember be more and more humble the more noble the more humble now we have to understand the yet another factor we have relationship between two types of people one is the people whom uh, they are a blessing for us the others will be a group of people which will teach us a lesson later we regret that uh, we should never have been in friendship with such group of people there is also a saying remember dear youths now you should be a role model to your friends wherever you are shining lights don't forget that verse because wherever in school it's a great privilege for me to testify god's name about god the miracles what god has done in our life and what god can do in your life so you have to be like that a transformation a change in the life of different people there is a saying in english show me your friend and i will tell you who you are very good so if your friend is good and perfect definitely there is no question about asking about who you are it's totally understood that you are great and perfect then we have to remember many problems occur some people have a smile on their faces all the time why do they smile do you think that they are mad or eccentric that they smile all the time no but it is so because they know how to develop or put a brave friend in all the obstacles and problems remember challenges are not the stumbling blocks but it is the stepping stones as you associate with the saying failures are the stepping stones to success as dr apj abdul kalam once said dreams are not that what you see in your sleep but dream is something that wakes you from your sleep what do you understand by that we all dream isn't it we have to become this we have to become that and so on and so forth but we hardly bother to study anything or work hard for that but no sacrifice your sleep sacrifice your comfort everything then only you can achieve your goal your success now let me come on to the challenges or the problems what modern youths faces let me say some introduction of that modern youths face a lot sense of preparedness so we have to understand youth is a time for preparing now what all preparations are there for youth can you tell me one by one preparation to have a good job right then preparation for seeking the suitable alliance a life partner in your life and to be get married and to be of well reputed standard in the society like that and you are confused also so i always tell my dear children as well as brothers and sisters whenever you select a career pray to god and tell your parents never to compare with what the neighbors children are accepting or having you have some or the other potentials in you so nowadays there is there are great opportunities that you can seek and find as in one of the poem ulysses lord uh, alfred lord tennyson had said to strive to seek to find and not to yield what do you mean never give up find till the last minute work hard 
and have firm prayer and faith in God, definitely success will be yours. We prepare for many things and even prepare for education. So our preparation as Christian youths should be for eternity too. That when I die, where will my soul go? This worldly pleasures and all we acquire in our life, it's just momentary. Our bank balance, our wealth, our riches, vehicles, multi-storied buildings, it will just flatter like the heap of ashes one day. So what is lasting will be the life which we had in Christ. Then, we should also remember, as I mentioned, to prepare for eternity. Education, the Bible should be our initial book to learn. And wherever we are placed, whatever circumstances we handle, remember always our parents, our teachers, friends, elders will not there be with us to assist where we are going. And they will not be able to see us nowadays. Lot of facilities are there in your fingertips. Earlier in our childhood times and all, to get some information, we have to burn the midnight oil, sit in the library, take lots of books and refer and write. But now just a click and you will get many things. So nowadays, youngsters or even, don't blame youngsters, the small infants or children, if we ask them anything, they will clear the doubt of social medias, the technologies, the phones, how the operations and all are there. So remember, it is there to give you a meritorious benefit, these technologies, but never take it for granted that you spoil your life. When I come in detail giving you the different points, what the problems the youth faces, I will explain it more in detail. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says, For the word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even unto the divisions of soul, spirits, joints and marrows, and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. And remember that we have to attack the the devil's temptations with the powerful word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, young people, they are often guilty of pushing. Youths are also trying to be older than what they are. They say that a cigarette in your hand and I am a man. So that prestige issue you have or the bike or the other latest gadgets that you use, no matter thinking of the financial uh, inefficiency, you take certain things to show off to the peer groups. That should never be done. Pray to God. God will give you each step. And as I mentioned earlier, be simple. Then the no doors of opportunities will really knock before you. And remember, grass is always greener on the other side. Youths are compared to be like green apples. What is it? If you don't allow it to ripen, they will become hard and bitter. Okay, so these are certain problems that you have to face. Then we also see that when we want to win in life, we have to remember five D's, letter D, D. First one is desire. Second one is decision. Third one, determination. Fourth is discipline. And fifth one is destination or destiny. Now what is desire? What all you desire? If I ask you, you will say all the dreams that you have. Isn't it? The latest gadgets, everything and so on. Some will tell, my dream or desire is to be a God-fearing child. I want to be a, a good person in the society. No matter, select a good job with you or seek for that. Any job, be 
ministry oriented from your job as i always challenge my plus 1 level students that whatever you do next time today you are seated before me as students but i have a guarantee that tomorrow you will excel than me and be shining witness for christ and for the society the perishing souls who commit suicide day by day who are a great headache to their parents we have to bring them back to this word of god or the truth so desire then decision our decision now we see that every new year the prior day on 31st of december we make lot of decisions or resolutions right but it will remain till the first week of january or the first month completely january or february then later we are back again to the worst situation so decision that we have to decide who we are going to become we know that the future is in god's hand but it's we who are an instrument before god if we are not willing normally we say to some of the children that before exam some of the children say that you pray you pray for me that i may pass for the examination prayer is the greatest and the most important thing but for passing is alone the prayer enough and the child watching television or sleeping somewhere else that he or she will pass and acquire good percentage will it be possible no never hard work also is the key to success now it reminds me yet another greatest poetic lines of the famous poet robert frost he told in the poetry stopping by the woods on a snowy evening he gave it as a challenge woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep i have promises to keep you have promises to keep and before i sleep what do you mean by that before you sleep means before you die excellent before you die you have to go through different promises different challenges what god will take you and i'm sure that really those who are seated here no one god will leave you ever nor forsake you you have a good destination you will reach there with firm faith in god then we should have determination what is determination <coughs> determination what is it having the confidence i am determined that i will be able to do through god's help okay wherever you are being placed you have to stand for truth and be a great miracle and asset for the humanity or society determination then mainly the most important of all is decision sorry discipline discipline life with discipline is most valued sometimes i do tell to the youngsters you should be smart enough all the time it's well and good but never be over smart discipline life is what everyone likes or wishes to accept wherever you are they will pinpoint at you and say he or she is coming from a disciplined background and definitely you will have chances in this world disciplined no one will envy you there will be no enemies for you if you lead a disciplined way of life finally the last step if you follow all these steps you will reach your destination or destiny that is as christians we have great responsibilities if we live on this earth we have to think about our day to day livelihood so we should get a good job and apart from that we have to prepare for our lord's coming it's near as acts chapter 1 verse 8 says i will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and daughters shall prophesy your young men shall see vision your old men shall dream dreams so this much challenge god has given to us okay so now winding up remember the basic problem that the youths face number 
today's language they tell that i'm good for nothing then second apathy apathy means lack of interest or enthusiasm then understanding love worries or emptiness depression then we have the seven the final let me conclude that never give up with the overcoming challenges which are seven in number i will tell you one by one focus on god's power rather than on the size of your own problems second point trust in god's plan all the time third see the supernatural in all situation pursuing holiness fourth you have to surround yourself with other believers who will help you achieve your goal now fifth step keep one step ahead in sacrificing or in having your mind to be enlightened then sixth one usher in blessings to others and finally seventh step for a challenge is get ready for a season of joy life in christ is really a wonderful one you will get many blessings and prosperity with god nothing is more challenging than this short span of your life so may god bless you with this words and may i instill all